way I'm going to go about this is I'm going to wrap two balloons on each part of this garland. we're gonna be doing a baby shower ring garland and the theme is gonna be sunflower um, so basically what I have behind me is a nice little swing setup um, I did purchase the swing from Amazon I'll leave the link for you guys as well as a teddy bear and the old baby and then right here we also have our grass wall which is gonna really accent the overall sunflower theme and give it that nice garden vibes. So with that being said, we're going to get into it. The colors I'll be using today are Quilatex Polka Dot along with um, Tuftex Golden Rod. So the way I'm going to be doing this, I will be using 260 balloons to secure, sorry, yeah, 260 balloons to secure my quads. I created quads and I'm gonna put those quads together to create a garland. And then I'm gonna put the garland on the ring backdrop. Now this method really helps if you have less than an hour to do your setup. So you pre-prep before you go to your setup, your venue, um, your venue space, wherever you're gonna be doing the decor, with that, that way all you're doing is just putting it on a hoop and then accenting it with any flowers or any um, mini balloon garlands that you would like to accent it with. So that's why we're doing it this way. I really wanted to show you guys a quick and more simplistic way to go about it to lessen your installation time. It will be more on your prep time at home or in your studio, but it will lessen your installation time when you are at your venue. So with that being said, we're gonna get into it. All right guys, so I'm gonna be on the floor for this install, for this part of the install at least. So basically I'm taking um, a few of my old 260 balloons and I'm tying them together. And you can double tie it just to make sure it's fully secure. And I'm trying to let out as much air as possible so that I can connect another 260. And the way I do it is I take the side that is closed off and I wrap it around. And I try to get it as close to the end as possible, guys. Double tie. And this is what it looks like. See that I have this end that's open. This is an open end right here. All right, so I'm gonna add one more to it. So right here, I have a total of four 260 balloons, right? And this is basically your ribbon, all right? Now, the reason why I'm using 260s instead of ribbon is because the ribbon kind of has this loose feel when um, you put it over the ring. This gives it a closer feel without you having to tie the necks of the balloon. So it gathers the balloons closer and really makes it nice and snug when you put it on your ring backdrop, okay? Okay. 
So the way we go about this is I'm going to take the two, one end of the 260 and I'm going to wrap it around the neck on one of these balloons on this quad. instead of clusters. Um, it's easier to gather when you do quads instead of clusters. And I have a bunch of quads already blown up, right? So I'm just going to be adding them. And what I'm basically doing is I'm taking this new quad, I'm adding it to the existing quad and then I'm going to wrap the 260s around the new quad, bring it down and wrap it around the old quad, bring it back up and then I'm going to go ahead and add another cluster. And I'm doing the same thing. As I add the new quad, I'm also going to be wrapping the 260 around the old quad. sure that they are as close to each other as possible. Do you see that there's limited gapping? That's what you want. So you tie it and you push it down. You push it down by the neck as much as possible to create less gapping. Now I'm just going to go in with my polka dot. And I'm just going to keep adding, so you're going to hear a little bit of silence, guys. wrap the close end or I'm going to tie a knot on the close end of the new 260 to the existing 260. I hope you guys can see that and this is just going to create an extension for me. So I use a total of five 260 balloons to create this garland right here. So guys, 
guys, now all I'm gonna be doing is, I'm finished with this end, I'm going to wrap it around the last balloon or the last quad. I'm gonna wrap it around the necks of one of the last um, quads and I'm just gonna hide it in between the balloons so it's not visible, okay? garland to the stand, the pole of the stand, okay? So the way I'm going to go about that, I'm going to add it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get more balloons to just go ahead and wrap it around there. to look back. So now I will be adding in my mini clusters and I pre-made my clusters. So the polka dot does not come in five inch balloons, but the Top Tex Golden Rod does come in five inch balloons. All I've done is I've added my rubber bands and I will show you how to do them. So, all you're doing is you're gonna take the neck of one of the balloons and wrap the balloon around it at least two times to secure it and voila, you're done. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and start adding it in where I feel it should be added, okay? beautification part of it where we're adding our mini clusters 
and we're also adding our florals, right? We've already basically done the the build up, and we've also done the um, the backbone and the build up, right? Because we basically created all of that when we created those quads. I had already added in 17 inch balloons mixed with organically sized 11 inch balloons to create that fluff look. So when you go to your site, all you're doing is adding the beautification step along with attaching each garland to the, oh my gosh, <laughs> to the stand, okay? So now we're doing the beautification part, which lessens the steps that you have to take once you reach to your venue to do your install setup, okay? All right guys, now I'm adding the last part of the beautification step, which are our sunflowers, to really give it that nice accented look and finish filling in any areas that may have gaps. All right? Alright guys, so I'm going to take my dust buster and I'm going to use it to clean off any debris that I may have on this install and I'm going to turn it on, but I'm not using this part, I'm going to use whatever air is coming out of this part. Alright guys, I do hope that this video was very helpful to learn how to attach a garland to a ring backdrop stand and I hope it also helps you to be quicker in certain situations where you may have to do an install um, in a rush, so to speak. All right, I will catch you guys on the next video and, and please guys leave any feedback that may help you to become a better balloonier. Thank you, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.